going to be looking at magnetic field patterns. So here's a magnetic field pattern for a bar magnet. And what you need to appreciate it is that the magnetic field lines move from, away from north but towards south. So rather than looking at magnetic field strength, we look at magnetic flux density, which is given a symbol B, and that's the measure and indicator of magnetic field strength. So the stronger a magnetic field would imply a larger flux density, and so we would expect to see more magnetic field lines per unit area, a greater concentration in the field lines to show that you have a stronger magnetic field. So we're now going to look at the magnetic field pattern for a long straight wire which has a current through it. So you can see the magnetic field lines are forming concentric circles and as you get away from the wire, move away from the wire, the spacing between the circles increases indicating that the magnetic field strength or the magnetic flux density is decreasing. In order to know the direction of the magnetic flux density, we use the right hand grip rule. So key thing here, it's your right hand and your thumb is representing the current direction. So we will point your thumb upwards in this case. And your fingers that are curving around your thumb represents the direction of your magnetic flux density, the magnetic field lines. So in this case, it's showing that the magnetic flux density is following an anti-clockwise direction. If we now consider a long straight wire with the current coming out of the plane of the screen. So if we apply the right hand grip rule, we'll have our thumb pointing outwards and so you'll see your fingers are curving in an anti-clockwise direction so the magnetic field lines following an anti-clockwise direction so now if we look at a long straight wire where the current is now acting into the plane of our screen applying the right hand grip rule you'll have your thumb pointing inwards towards your screen and so you'll see that your fingers are curving in a clockwise direction so we, the magnetic field lines are in a clockwise direction and again you can see that the spacing of the field lines is increasing the further away you get from the wire indicating that the field strength is decreasing we're now going to look at the magnetic field pattern for a long solenoid and a solenoid are turns or coils of wire and here we're showing four turns of wire for this solenoid at the top here you can see well the blue is showing you the blue arrow is showing you the direction of the current so at this point here the current is going into the plane of the screen. So if we apply the right hand grip rule here, we'll point our thumb into the plane of the screen, and then you'll see your fingers are curving in a clockwise direction, indicating that the magnetic field here is in a clockwise direction. And this is true for all the currents when they are going into the plane of the screen, you're getting this clockwise magnetic field pattern. If we now consider the current at this side of our turn coil of wire, we can see then at this point the current is coming out of the plane of the screen. And if we apply the right hand grip rule, then at this point here, the thumb will be pointing out of the screen so you can see your fingers are curving in an anti-clockwise direction so indicating that the magnetic field lines are following an anti-clockwise and again this is true for all the points on 
this diagram showing where the current is coming out of the plane of the screen. We're getting an anti-clockwise direction for the magnetic field patterns. To get the overall field pattern for the solenoid, we would take the resultant of all the individual magnetic field patterns and it would look like this. You can see that the pattern is similar to a bar magnet. So you have a uniform field inside the solenoid. And you have the field lines coming out on this side, indicating the North Pole. And the field lines going into the other end of the solenoid, indicating the South Pole. If we were to look head on at this end of the solenoid, we would see that the current is flowing in an anti-clockwise direction. So here's the current at the end of the solenoid in an anti-clockwise direction. If we add the letter N to this, and at the ends of the letter N, we put an arrow. You can see that the arrows from the letter N is following an anti-clockwise direction. So if the end of the solenoid and the current is flowing in an anti-clockwise direction, that indicates the north pole of the solenoid. If it was to face now head on on the other side of the solenoid, you'll see then the current is flowing in a clockwise direction. So here we have the other end of the solenoid, the current flowing in a clockwise direction. If we add the symbol for S and at the end of the letter S we add arrows you can see the arrows are moving in a clockwise direction so if we look at the end of the solenoid and the current is flowing in a clockwise direction that indicates the south pole 